Hello, my name is Walker Peterson from the Gota Lab at the University of Tokyo in Tokyo, Japan. By the way, welcome to the Gota Lab.、Uh, you are here with me now.、Um, I've developed a new technique for coherent Raman spectroscopy、uh, with my colleagues here in this lab. The technique is called dual detection impulsive vibrational spectroscopy,、uh, or DIVS for short. This technique is an impulsive、uh, stimulated Raman scattering technique, which emphasizes、um, basically two points. One is broadband detection over the low frequency and fingerprint regions of the Raman spectrum. And、uh, the second point is basically doing this at an ultra fast real time spectral rate,、uh, in this case, 24,000 spectra per second. So let me first introduce a few of the kind of general principles of this technique. And then、uh, we'll take a look at the real setup, which is right behind me. Okay, let's talk about some principles of DIVS. This is a time domain technique. That means we build up time domain signals by sampling intensity. And then、uh, by Fourier transform, we calculate Raman power spectra. This is a pump probe technique. So we use ultra short、uh, laser pulses to excite Raman vibrations. And then after some delay, we get that information with probe pulses. So, what's actually happening here、um, is these pump pulses stimulate the coherent、uh, molecular vibrations. And when you have that coherent nuclear motion, you also have the electron cloud oscillating. And、uh, that in turn causes the oscillatory refractive index. So, a subsequent probe follows after some delay tau, and it's going to see that oscillatory refractive index. Depending on the timing, it's going to have some different effect on the probe's phase. You can see in a very simple、um, electric field equation, there's kind of this phase term related to the refractive index. So, depending on the slope of the refractive index, when that、uh, probe transmits through the sample, we have different effects. So, we can have a redshift of the probe, a blue shift, or a phase delay shift without any color change. We detect the first two in FT cars via optical filtering. And the last effect with SEISRS via s y n e c interferometry. And the key point here is that FT CARS provides fingerprint region sensitivity in the Raman spectrum because it's sensitive to the time derivative of the refractive index. Whereas SEISRS provides the low frequency region sensitivity because it's sensitive to the refractive index itself. And again, that refractive index is synchronized with the molecular vibrations. All right, welcome to the heart of DIVS. This is the s a n y a k interferometer with、uh, some optical filtering integrated to detect both SEISRS and FT CARS.、Um, here's the APD which detects FT CARS. You can see、uh, at this long pass filter in the s a n y a k interferometer, the reflected signal is the frequency shifted probe signal and it passes through this short pass filter.、Uh, At the s a n y a k interferometer exit in this direction, we have the interference of the local oscillator and the phase delay shifted probe. And、uh, that interference is detected at this photo detector as SEISRS. So let's take a look here at the oscilloscope with a dramatic Hollywood pan and zoom. Okay. These are the two signals of DIVS. At the top is SEISRS, at the bottom, FT CARS. These are currently being detected at a real time spectral rate of 24,000 spectra per second. And right away, you can see the kind of dramatic difference in the detected,、uh, in the sensitivity to the detected Raman mode frequency.、Uh, the top is much more. Uh, displaying the lower frequency Raman modes, the bottom,、uh, the more fingerprint、um, modes. And this really is the strong point of DIVS.